Hi Pisces, welcome to Learning's Harmony and Light. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. If this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. Hey cross watchers, I don't blame you for being a little curious towards your Pisces. Everybody's welcome to my channel and I hope to give some clarity into our situation you're possibly dealing with. So today, I will be giving you guys a general love reading for the month of June 2020, specifically through the dates the 18th through the 24th. Now, keep in mind that energy is fluid, so take this how it resonates, meaning it may or may not be relatable towards you. Also, you guys, I am now open for personal readings. Everything is in the link in the description below. My prices, my email, all that good stuff. So if you're interested into that, go ahead and get your personal reading. Okay, now that all of that is out the way, let's get into your reading. So, keep in mind that this can resonate towards your sun, moon, rising, and Venus and Pisces. If you don't know how to do that, uh, everything's in the link description to Cafe Astrology. All you need to know is the time you were born, and it'll tell you all that good stuff, your planet aspects, you know, what I just said, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I tend to think rising signs are more relatable. Okay. So, as always, these cards up here are going to be the overall energy between you and your person for um, the overall energy for uh, the 18th through 24th of June 2020. Next, this is going to be possible problems and conflicts. Then I'm going to look at how Pisces is in the connection. Then I'm going to look at how Pisces person is in the connection, possibly how you guys can be feeling. After all that, I'll give you guys the outcome. After the outcome, I'll give you guys my best advice. So, starting cards we got, we have the Empress, the Devil, the Star, and the Seven of Swords. So, the Empress, with the Empress here, Pisces, what this is telling me. This is telling me that you guys have a loving uh, nature around you or just loving energy all around you, inside of you. You could possibly have Earth in your chart or you could be dealing with an earth sign but um yeah this is this is really overall a really good loving energy um for my pisces who like are like probably single you could possibly like since you have like this energy i don't know why i keep moving that but since you have this energy it's like you probably have a lot of options and like people try to come towards you and like show you like love also, this could be an indicator of pregnancy as well. So, you know, take that how it resonates. So, next we have the devil card. And with the devil card here, this, you know, I wanted to say off the bat toxic. But as I, like, meditated on the cards a little bit and I looked at them and I went ahead and clarified this and I got the queen of swords. So, Pisces, what this is basically telling me is... um you're you're probably so whoever this person you're dealing with and this is for some of you guys this is really what i'm picking up you're possibly telling this information about this person like you're probably venting to somebody older than you possibly a mother or um an aunt or maybe even a close friend and you know they're with this queen of swords energy i'm really getting that maybe they could be a little bit rude about it or maybe they you know they're like trying to critique they're just critiquing, overanalyzing it too much, and it's putting this energy in your head. Okay, that's for some of you guys, and for, like, a lot of you guys as well, you know, it could just indicate, like, toxic cycles. Like, maybe, like, whoever you're venting to about this relationship, like, they have so much to say because of what this person did in the past, okay? So, next we have the star card, and with the star card here, this kind of goes with the devil card, Meaning you could be a very bright person, someone, um, you could also be dealing with Aquarius, a water, I'm mean, not water sign. Well, yes, a water sign as well, but an air sign and um, you you have all these emotions around you. But really what this is telling me is that somebody from your past could be uh, popping up. And if they already did it, they are going to most definitely because of the other cards we have. But um yeah, when this person comes back, somebody you're telling to, this person could be a Capricorn, whoever you're venting to, or Earth sign. They could be an Earth sign, towards Virgo, Capricorn. You know, they're like just uh, heavy Virgo energy, but they're really just critiquing it a lot. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, and that's, like I said, that's probably affecting how you're uh, thinking. 
And then we have the Knight of Cups. I went ahead and clarified the star with the Knight of Cups. And what this is telling me to tell you guys is that, yeah, somebody is coming. Some this Whether this is a new person, an old person, you know, we'll, we'll find that out later into the reading. But, um, yeah, this is basically telling me that somebody is coming forward. This is really a really good card to get, especially with this one. I mean, it could mean that somebody from your past is coming back. And... Um, that's really what I'm picking up. Someone from your past is coming back, and they, they're they basically going to sweep you off your feet, you know? It might be like you might fall in love all over again, but you might be a little scared about it. Pour those emotions out again because stuff could have happened, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Lastly, we have the Seven of Swords. So, I'm getting that, I mean, whoever was lying or whoever's going to come back, you know, cross watchers, you can reverse this energy. This could totally be Pisces, but since this is a Pisces read, I'm just going to read it like this, but, you know reverse energy if you have to i'm just saying like maybe this past person could have been very decept um deceptive could have been lying could have not been the most honest could you know just overall like you know not good energy and i went ahead and clarified that and we got the the two of swords so pisces what this is telling me is your relationship at the moment is at crossroads it's honestly not the best you know what i mean like there's lies obviously um Maybe you were blinded by the truth at one point, and um, maybe it's scaring you because you could possibly be in connection with this past, your ex I'm getting, or whoever you're dealing with um, that could have done you wrong. And like I said, it's probably scaring you because it's like, okay, like they're showing me this love, but like I don't, you know, I, I don't know. But you definitely have like options. Like there's definitely more people come, like c trying to come towards you, Pisces, okay? So next, we're going to look at possible conflicts in the connection we have ooh see the tower the knight of swords and the will of fortune okay so pisces what this is telling me with this tower moment here this is basically telling me that yeah an ending happened in this relationship for sure um tower moment it was a, a breakup is really why i'm picking up a separation a divorce um anything and it caused it's it's a problem now you know went ahead and clarified that uh, the tower and i got the chariot so yeah guys what this is telling me is like problems as of right now is uh starting this new beginning um with the chariot clarifying the tower it's telling me that you guys need to um put things to the side and come to your emotions you know so yeah somebody's coming back Pisces because next we have the knight of swords yeah knight of swords so with the knight of swords here is what this is telling me is that somebody is coming in possibly for a proposal but it's very quick it's very it's very like kind of like mm, like this person's smart um but like it's kind of like just too fast like it's like hot and cold so like you like hearing this like they want this new beginning with you. Because next, I clarified it with the full card. They're coming in for a new beginning. Okay? So, next we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, change. Change happened. This really just speaks for itself. And, um, yeah, so, overall problems in this connection, relationship is change like accepting change or starting a new beginning and then also i almost forgot to mention the judgment card popped out and this also speaks for itself as well we're gonna hold i'm gonna go ahead and set this card up because i think this is a very important card at the moment went ahead and clarified that and got the knight i mean the um uh, nine of wands almost said knight but um so yeah with the judgment card here it's like Basically, somebody is coming in to give you want a second chance, maybe third, fourth. I don't know. I'm getting that you guys could have been really off and on. Um, that's for some of you guys. But, like, basically, somebody wants to come back. You have to make a decision. But you have, this is you, Pisces. You have to stay on guard about it because you don't want to make the wrong decision. And you don't want to argue. You don't want the same cycles cycles that happen you don't want the same lying behavior which has to cause you to be on guard and make the right decision that is right for you okay okay next we're gonna look at how your pisces energy in this connection and then the person you're dealing with so sure guys 
Mr. Angels. That's Pisces. In this connection. And Pisces energy. In this connection. Spirit guys, Spirit Angels. How is Pisces in this connection? guys okay the nine of pentacles yep single energy the high priestess mm -hmm. using that intuition bottom of the deck again ten of swords you're hurt yeah mm -hmm. now let's look at your person's energy so we're gonna spirit angels tell me pisces person energy how they are in this connection the person is how they're connecting with Possibly connecting Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more time. Pisces, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Oh. Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you could have found out about somebody else. We're going to clarify that one for them. Bottom of the deck, they have the Page of Swords. Yeah, very. it's like Page and Knight energy, you know? And, like, you have this High Priestess energy. So, let's go ahead and clarify why is the Three of Cups here for your person. And then I'll get to explaining your card. Why is the Three of Cups here? Maybe I should tell the Spirit. Why is the Three of Cups here for the Precious energy? Thank you. A magician. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll explain this in a minute because I just got to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're coming back. They want to reunite with you. They could have messed up in the past, but... Wow, I'm really getting that they want to fix this. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. So, Pisces, we have the High Priestess and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, the High Priestess, you're using your intuition. You're probably very secretive at the moment. You got... You're not talking to them as much as you used to. You probably were the foundation, and now you're just letting it go because you're like, okay, like I feel like I'm doing too much work. Understandable, completely understandable, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, you're you're in this single energy. Um, I got like somebody wanting to offer, but um, you know, maybe that could be your other person. But like, yeah, I'm really getting that you're doing. You're probably like doing what you happy, working, making money, um, self care really just worrying about yourself you know now let's talk about your person's energy so nine of cups you know like i don't know i just feel like i don't they're not really they're not satisfied where, wherever they're at right now that's what that is telling me so Okay, let's talk about this. I really want to talk about this with you guys. So, Three of Cups is here. What this is telling me, so, I mean, there could have been somebody else involved in the past. But, um, and now that I clarified it with the magician, what this is telling me is they would, you know, they would like to reunite with you. They would, they want to come together with you. Yeah, this is your person from your past. The magician, they have all the tools to do this. They have all the tools to make this relationship successful maybe they need to open up more you know yeah problems i'm coming forth let's look at let's go ahead and look at the outcome for you guys outcome for this connection for my pisces for your guys for angels outcome what is the outcome spirit for my pisces what is the outcome thank you oh wow Wow, Ace of Pentacles, you guys, oh my gosh, and the lovers, this is super good, I don't know about last week's, I think last week's, and the Hermit, wow, okay, okay, I'm sorry guys, last week's, I didn't get it like this, it was more so like, oh, you must have been giving this person the silent treatment, Pisces, or I don't know, you're, maybe you worried about yourself, and they see it and now they want to change wow they're coming towards you ace of pentacles let's talk about this ace of pentacles with the lovers ace of pentacles new beginning financially they they could be the ones probably about to gift you something i got a ring 
Oh my gosh, Knight of Swords. You guys, they could possibly be trying to propose to you guys. That's for someone out there. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay. And then uh, the lovers, unconditional love, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what you could possibly be dealing with. Or you could have that in your chart. Yeah, duh. oh my gosh, wow. That is so good. I mean, like, I feel like they're really sorry too. The hermit. You're going to be thinking about it. As you should. As you should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Hermit is seven. Wow. Let's see how you're going to feel. How is Pisces going to feel when this person decides to come back, Spirit? How am I Pisces? Wow. Strength card. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you missed them. Ace of Cups. Wow. Pisces person energy coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's look at this again. Hold on. Too many cards came off. Pisces person energy coming back. This person's coming back energy. Mm-hmm. Balance. Wow. I mean, it's like they're a changed person. It's like, I don't know what you did, Pisces. I don't know if you just started looking good, self-care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, guys. I was looking at this card. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're working hard. They are determined. They are not satisfied where they're at, Pisces. Wow. I'm not even going to pull any advice cards. Um, I'm already at 17 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah, Pisces, they are very in love with you. You are in love with them. I feel as if, you know, I, I just, I'm really getting that they, they could still be a little childish. I'm not saying that they are just this king queen energy but you definitely impacted their life and made them think made them think about this like oh no i will not meet nobody like pisces with the strength card here you're gonna be feeling yeah you're gonna be strong with this i'm getting that you're just i don't know it's your decision it's your decision pisces but for what it's looking like it's matter of fact let's pull a vice card i'm sorry guys i have to Let's pull an advice card. I'm already about to get 18 minutes in. It's okay. Advice for my Pisces. Advice for my Pisces spirit. This is super good. Advice for my Pisces. Thank you. Let's get this one. Mm -hmm. Attract. One more for Pisces. One more for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Thank you. I don't want to like flu, feel. I feel my way through many situations. Attract and feel the love you want, Pisces. I'm going to end it right there. I hope this could have been relatable towards you. I hope you, you could have, you know, brought some clarity and insight on this. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, bye guys.